Okay, well, I have. Uh, let me see if I can get my lighting better. Actually, okay. While he's doing that, I'll say this is episode 145 of Fine Music. <laughs> Go ahead, Murray. So, my tagline for this one is if you like Iggy Pop, you need to check out La Butcherettes. Oh, that sounds wow. good. The La Butcherettes are a, uh, well, they came from Mexico, even though I think they're centered in the US now. Um, the lead singer is a woman named Terry Genderbender. And <laughs> she is one of the most intense performers you will ever see completely. And she's, uh, with, that's the, you know, she's, she's up there with Iggy for the intensity of her performances. Um, when they started out, she used to perform in a, like, a, you know, the old housewife's apron, but one that was all bloodstained and did songs about, you know, the suppression of women and how, uh, you know, the whole housewife image was a oppressive thing. Um, but she just, she screams, she plays guitar, she makes a lot of noise. Um, she jumps into the audience. She, she does all that. They, since over the years, she's uh, toned it down slightly. Or maybe um, they've also, I mean, the, the early incarnations I've watched videos and they were bordering as a noise band. They, they was, you know, a lot of rhythm and a lot of guitar feedback and stuff and not a whole lot of tunes, but they've gotten slightly more melodic, um, but she's still just as, as intense a performer. Um, you can look up videos of her. Um, there are quite a few of them. Um, and I've, I've seen them three times. I saw them actually open for Iggy in like 2011 at the Palladium. Wow. Um, I saw them open for Jello Biafra at the Roxy in 2014. Um, and that concert, I was lucky enough to be in the front. And when she did her stave dive, she landed on me. She may have <laughs> picked me out. Like, he looks like he won't drop me. <laughs> So, um, and then I saw them do, and I will try to share my screen to do this one. Maybe. Come on. Oh, okay, I'm, I, I'm having trouble. Oh, oh there you oh. go. There, okay. We can, I mentioned, oh, there's another picture here. Let me see. Well, That's anyway, her? I don't know. It's not, but this is, this is at Amoeba Records, and she did a, uh, just her and the on guitar. Well, actually, her on ukulele, and the guy next to her on drums at Amoeba Records. So it's a bit of a different show than when she's got a full electric band going with her, but uh, still pretty intense. And I know she ended the show by, again, getting off the stage with her ukulele. She walked out on the Sunset Boulevard and got on a bus happened to stop there and she got on the bus and serenaded the people on the bus for a while. Nice. So, uh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I get like I said, just very, very intense. This is one of their CDs. Um again, I got my lighting here is weird, but so you can't see this at all. Oh well. No, maybe there we go. This just came out in 2015. I don't understand the lighting in my room, but anyway, uh, every now and then there it works. There it works. Okay, they actually put out one in 2019 called Buy Mental. But um, you know, if you want, if you ever wanted to see Iggy Pop as a woman, this is the band to check out. <laughs> oh, there's a tagline. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, the name of the band made me think of the plasmatic song, Butcher Baby. Yeah, well, there, there's similarity. There's a lot of similarity with the plasmatics. Again, a I very... got to see them at the Whiskey. I, it was, oh, I totally yeah. enjoyed that show. It's just crazy. Yeah, very intense front woman who's, uh, you know, costuming. And she didn't, you know, the butcherettes, they don't destroy quite as much stuff. But there, there are times when she throws stuff around. I mean, she used to perform with an ironing board, which... Oh, kind nice. of up in pieces by the end of the show <laughs> so yeah yeah that's a good thing. you could put that one there too don if you like the plasmatics check out the little butcherettes oh, I'm gonna, i'll I'm squeeze what i can <laughs> we're giving it usually we don't give you any options and you got to come up with something and today we're just giving you all sorts of options yeah i'm sensing a trend 
<laughs> oh, it's going to continue. Great. Okay. Something to look forward to in episode 146. But for now, 145. I don't want to butcher this name, but <laughs> La Butcher Is that right? Yep. Ellie and Butcher with uh again E E T T E S at the end. All right. Yeah, maybe you can see it. <laughs> That's the cut ups, right? What? What? What's your cut ups? Actually, this is an autographed copy too. This yeah, is I was just I was going to mention that, but yeah, I thought it was obvious. Record. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, fabulous, fabulous. I mean, you know, <laughs> obviously, her diminutive size, and then she saw you. She thought, "Safe catch." Yeah, 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 yeah. No problem there. <laughs> Destiny. Okay. Yeah.